Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you can torture pilots by forcing them to fly through hell on Earth. It's Microsoft Flight Simulator. Microsoft Flight Simulator is a game where you can experience realistic flight and go wherever you want, blah, blah, blah. No one cares. We're not doing that. My immediate question of this game was, can you force people to fly into a tornado? And the answer is yes. That's all I care about, so I'm happy. I feel like I want to torture a lot of people at once. Traffic all of it. I don't just want to force my pilots to try and fly through 400 mile an hour winds. I want to see if I can get the computer to do it as well. Microsoft Flight Simulator is filled with people with big balls. I'm actually kind of curious too if all the cars like in the highway and stuff have to deal with the 400 mile an hour winds. Leisure boats? You're damn right. Before killing a ton of people in a 747, we have to pick a pilot avatar. So am I seriously allowed to just pilot a commercial airliner in like jeans and a windbreaker? Oh, this is a lot better. Oh, you can legitimately have a person with pressed pants. That's not going to happen. All right, where's my buddy? Where's my co-pilot Kyle at? He's in every single flight simulator game there is. All right, whatever, Kyle's not here, so say hello to Kylie. 747 Dreamliner, more like Nightmare Maker. Oh, this is nice, it shows you exactly how how much of each type of meat there is inside of the plane. See, in first class, we have a thousand pounds of people to throw around. Engine fires, you say. Yeah, we'll probably be doing all that to complete failure. Put in your flight number here. Call sign action. All right, I gotta select some place that's super populated. This way we get to see everyone flying through the air. Oh yeah, Kennedy Airport. You'll notice here that you can add wind layers. How fast? Can the wind be, you might ask? Very fast. It gets worse too, because you can use gusts and it goes up to 299 knots. It's like 300 something miles an hour. Oh my God, you can duplicate these. What happens if you add like a hundred wind layers? Okay, I'm gonna add these in a second. We need a baseline though. You need to know what things are like before Satan begins to throw down his demonic tornadoes upon you. Fly and die, they have a lot in common. I love how in the loading screen, it says under normal conditions. What, like 299 knots of wind speed? Is it normal? Hello, everyone. This is your captain, Captain Kill speaking. Current conditions are two knots of wind, which is uh, going to last for about 30 seconds. Everyone, make sure to tell your family that you love them and kiss your ass goodbye. Because we're about to shove this Boeing up the ass of the damned. So I have a question. There's a ton of people like taxiing around. When I start screwing with the airspeed, they all disappear, right? Let's find out. <sighs> Wind layer, lots. Let's go ahead and bring that gust down all the way. Bring the speed up 200%, there we go. You know it's a good day when the wings are starting to bend and we haven't taken off yet. All right, we are ready for takeoff at this point. Later start, kid. Ah, the nose of the plane is already coming up from the wind. That's fantastic. They always say go into the wind. Kyle, no! <laughs> okay, before I duplicate the wind layer like a thousand times, I at least just want to get up into the air. All right, now we have liftoff. It's so majestic, it's so beautiful. Let's ruin it. All right, so while the plane is uh, taking off over here, just gotta go over to the weather area and see how they do. There we go. Now we're starting to get a little bit of turbulence. <laughs> It's always a good time where your plane literally gets thrown through the air like a friggin' softball. Looks like there's a little bit of chop in the water right now, too. Hey, Kyle, buddy, how you doing, brother? So I've got the simulation paused, but the wind is forcing my plane to spin in circles. It's not really a pause when the airspeed is changing about 100 knots by itself. Official hamster's over there. He's probably like, what the hell is Captain Kill Kyle doing? All right, let's go ahead and unpause and see how the pilot does about this full barrel roll not too bad okay despite the plane being moved around like a friggin ping pong ball my pilot is doing way better than i thought he would be so uh we're gonna add a couple more wind layers all righty yeah let's go ahead and uh duplicate that wind layer there we go you know what what the hell point the wind the other way and we'll put this wind straight up there we go so that's about 10 wind layers right now. <laughs> Come on, man, you can do it. Don't let me beat you. Especially considering the water is getting so insane that it- <laughs> What the hell? 
What the hell happened to my plane? Oh yeah, this is natural. You know air traffic control is over there and they're like, what the f*** are you doing? I'm taking off again. Don't fight it, pilot. Let this happen. What else can I do to this person? Uh, lightning, all of it. I think we're pretending, I think we're preparing to do a water landing here. Excellent. That's a hell of a water landing, all right. <laughs> this poor guy's in here. He's like, make it stop. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. We're just inside of some 200 foot waves. No big deal. What happens if I make everything like 60 degrees Celsius? Now it feels like Florida. Just needs a couple more wind layers to get us up in the air. There we go. What are we at about uh, like 2000 mile an hour winds right now? Look at the trees in the background. It's fantastic. I still need to see if the cars have to deal with this too. The graphics don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> I think I flooded the entirety of the planet. Can I just put like some arbitrary number here? I've got so much wind right now. We're actually hovering without flying. Well, I just crashed the game. I'm assuming it wasn't really made to support like Mach 5 winds. I think part of the problem with the wind is our plane was so big and heavy that it doesn't really show you how torturous it is. Let us find the smallest plane there possibly is. Okay, yeah, that's 1,600 pounds. That's not too bad. 1,300 pounds, found it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be super safe. How much space is inside of this plane? It almost looks like I'm in this girl's lap. Okay, first things first, I need to get over by some cars and find out just how much this airspeed affects the actual in-game traffic. Look at how calm the water is. So glass-like, so serene. Especially with oily stool over here flying. This is right before the apocalypse comes for everyone. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bring this down right in the middle of the parking lot. Doing a nice tender glide in here. Oh, fantastic. We happen to have a highway. And touchdown. Perfect. Imagine this for a moment. You're driving home from work when all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Come on, I was hoping 300 miles an hour would be enough to right this plane. It's all right, I got more wind where that came from. Hey bro, can you give me a boost real quick? Wow, the traffic in here really pays attention to one another. Okay, I think part of the problem is we didn't have enough altitude to understand exactly what the wind speed was doing to this craft. So I'm gonna let this thing get up there a little bit further. All right, this should be high enough to have some irreversible trauma. Also, we get to see what happens to the boats down there. Alrighty, let it begin. All right, now I haven't put any of the gusts on or anything yet. The boats are immediately gone. Okay, now although the plane is actually being pushed this way, even though it's supposed to be flying straight, somehow my pilot is keeping everything level, so I'm going to have to continue. All right, let's bring those gusts all the way up. And uh, yeah, the gusts will go this way. <laughs> Okay, now we're starting to see some fun. Come on, baby, you can do this. Don't let me tell you that you can't. All right, so far, so good. I think what we need now is like another, you know, 10 of these. No, there God, we go. Please, no. The fact that you can hear the wind ripping past the plane, sucking the souls out of the people that are attempting to pilot, this is fantastic. This looks super safe. All right, now if I want a true tornado, I need I need all the wind to be going different directions so that it goes in like a circle. So I'm gonna have one go like this, that there, wind going the gusts like that, and then another one where it goes like this, and then another one like that. Now it's a party. I love how calm the pilots are. They're like, oh, it's just another day with gray. I think the best part is, is that you don't even crash that fast because the wind is blowing so quickly. You get to know that you're going to die, but it's at like, you know, 10 feet of altitude loss a second. I don't even know what kind of barrel rolls are happening at this point. This plane is clearly behaving exactly the way it should. Glug, glug. I like that the game paused on its own. It's like logbook. Please just let me die. We're not done yet. Continue, goddammit. And I just drowned another set of pilots under 100 foot waves. Great. I'm just turning every single thing I have here up just to see what happens. All the precipitation, all the lightning, negative 90 degrees Celsius. I like how I've just washed the color out of the entire game. I don't know what the hell just happened. I added every single wind layer I could and it destroyed the entire entirety of the ocean. The ocean is gone. <laughs> Where the
Where the hell did it go? Don't mind me. I just want to see what happens if we can actually fly the plane when every single thing possible fails. Yeah, we'll go ahead and fail this five minutes in. Actually, we're going to fail everything five minutes in. I just want to make sure that everyone is high enough above the ground to die. Yeah, all the engine fires, all the engine failures. I don't even know if half of this matters. I'm just clicking on everything that I can click on. There's going to be so much fire coming from all the different engine fires that there's going to be like roasted seagulls falling from the sky. This is how we're solving world hunger. Okay, there we go. Every single fire and failure that there is. Notice how transatlantic looks a lot like trans-satanic. All right, passengers, make sure to enjoy the beautiful Florida scenery. You get approximately five minutes before we're all going to burst into flames. If you ever wonder how I keep getting different pilots to do this stuff, it's because times are tough, man. And we have liftoff. Let the countdown begin. Holy sh I just ran over someone. Man, the airport's really busy today. All right, bring the landing gear up. Oh yeah, we're gonna have plenty of elevation to make sure that there's absolutely no survivors. I'm over here inside of the captain's area. Everything's looking quite smooth right now. We're operating at about 60% throttle, which is appropriate because roughly 60% of your ass will probably burn up immediately when everything catches on fire. I don't know why, but how come all of Florida looks like a gigantic trailer park down below? All right, we should start seeing failures here any moment. That is if I don't get plane jacked by Flow Gangsters 12. My God. What's happening? Strange black fluid is beginning to fly out of the back of the engines. What could it all mean? It's actually a pretty weak ass fire. Some kid's face is pressed against the glass. He's like, mommy, what's that? His mother's like, oh, it's great still plays being an asshole. All right, we may have to try for a water landing here. Just gonna glide this thing right in. Where's the damn ejection seat? Okay, luckily I have a beautiful highway straight ahead of me to bring this thing down. A little bit of trim adjustment. If you wanna go ahead and cast a fishing line out, you probably could. Handling it like a boss, oh my God. Jesus Christ. Like a glove. Welcome to the Florida Everglades. Okay, hold on. We haven't had any legitimate rain going like 2,000 miles an hour. I want people to feel like they're getting shot by a bullet when it rains on them. This is Captain Killmaster Kyle. Please prepare your anuses for takeoff. All right, time to give everyone the true hurricane experience here. May notice a little bit of uh, precipitation here. Rookie precipitation. Congratulations, everyone. We're about to hit a little bit of turbulence. To be honest with you, it doesn't really look that bad inside of the cockpit. I'm assuming the issue is we don't have enough wind yet. Okay, now that's a little scarier. I feel like there would be rain that you would see here. The only problem is it's moving so fast that no one can tell. Holy Christ, what the hell is happening behind us? Ah, it's like the end of the world back there. All right, Captain Kyle, just put it down nice and easy. Nice and easy. Great job. You've, you've saved everyone by bouncing off of the ocean. Fantastic. Got a little bit of wing flex here, but I think we're gonna be okay. I'm just, it's like a, um, it's like a car wash. We're just flying through the waves to get this thing a nice shine. And Captain Kyle sets it down right on this beautifully artifact foliage. With the tornadoes moving in the background, I think at this point we've destroyed enough lives for one day. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with this shot where you can see the look on everyone's face inside of the passenger area shortly before they all die. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.